Hello and welcome to the Zoll Zvent in-service demonstration. This multiple part series will provide detailed information about the Zvent portable critical care ventilator and its functionality. In this module, we will review the parameter settings and their unique context menus. Along the right side of the screen are the parameter windows. There are seven parameter windows in total. Each parameter has a corresponding button that is used to adjust specific settings within the window. Within each window, outlined text corresponds to monitoring readouts or calculated values that pertain to the specific parameter, such as heart rate or SpO2 level. Outlined text values cannot be changed. Solid text represents the current parameter settings. These can be adjusted. The bell icon indicates that an alarm is set to alert the user should a monitored parameter fall outside of the desired setting ranges. To adjust a parameter, begin by pressing the parameter button adjacent to the desired window. Notice how the setting within the parameter window is now highlighted. Each press of the parameter button cycles through each setting that can be changed for that parameter. Use the parameter button to cycle through settings until the desired value is highlighted. Use the selection dial to adjust the value up or down as needed. Once the desired value is reached, confirm the change by pressing the Accept button. The parameter is now changed. The first parameter window is the patient's heart rate. The outlined text represents the patient's current measured heart rate. High and low alarm defaults are 120 and 40 beats per minute. Press the parameter button once to change the high heart rate and twice to change the low heart rate. The second parameter window is pulse oximetry, or SpO2. The outlined text represents the patient's current measured SpO2 level. The low alarm defaults to 94% SpO2. Press the parameter button once to change the low alarm limit. When a pulse oximeter is used, the pleth waveform is displayed in the waveform window directly to the left. The third window is Fraction of Inspired Oxygen Percentage, or FiO2. The desired FiO2 can be adjusted in 1% increments from 21 to 100%. Press the parameter button once to change the desired FiO2 level. When the Z-Vent is used with high pressure oxygen, the current oxygen liter per minute usage is displayed in this parameter window. The fourth window is peak inspiratory pressure, or PIP. Airway pressure settings are also changed from this window. This window displays the current PIP value, high pressure limit and low pressure limit alarms, and the current PEEP setting. When operating the ventilator in SIMV, CPAP, or BL modes, pressure support will be displayed as a secondary parameter that can be adjusted. When operating in a pressure-targeted breathing mode, PIP is a solid numerical value and can be changed. When operating in a volume-targeted breathing mode, PIP is a calculated value and will display as an outlined number that cannot be changed. In pressure-targeted breathing, press the parameter button once to change the desired PIP, twice to change the high pressure limit, three times to change the low pressure limit, and four times to change the PEEP. In volume-targeted breathing, press the parameter button once to change the high pressure limit, twice to change the low pressure limit, and three times to change the PEEP value. The pressure time waveform is displayed directly to the left of the PIP parameter window. This waveform displays, in real time, the patient's PEEP level, the actual PIP, and the high pressure limit. The waveform plots airway pressure against time and is automatically scaled based on the breathing rate, PIP target, and high pressure limit alarm settings. When operating in volume-targeted breathing mode, pressing the manual breath slash plateau pressure button changes the displayed waveform to a plateau pressure waveform measurement and displays a numerical result. The fifth window is tidal volume. 
When operating in volume targeted breathing mode, the tidal volume is a solid numerical value and can be changed. The tidal volume can be adjusted from 50 to 2000 milliliters. Press the parameter button once to change the desired tidal volume. When operating in pressure targeted breathing mode, the tidal volume is a calculated value and will display as an outlined number that cannot be changed. However, the user now has the option to change the high tidal volume and low tidal volume alarm ranges. Press the parameter button once to change the high tidal volume alarm and twice to change the low tidal volume alarm. The sixth window is breaths per minute or BPM. In this window, the user can set the desired breaths per minute, the high breath rate and low breath rate alarms, and the I to E ratio, which is the ratio of how much of the breath is inspiration versus expiration. The BPM value can be changed from 1 to 80 breaths per minute. Press the parameter button once to change the desired BPM, twice to change the high breath rate alarm, three times to change the low breath rate alarm, and four times to change the I to E ratio. If desired, the user may inverse the I to E ratio. To do so, press the parameter button four times to cycle to the I to E ratio value. Using the selection dial, turn the dial counterclockwise to lower the ratio. If you attempt to scroll lower than a ratio of 1 to 1.0, a pop-up window will appear over the waveform window that asks you to confirm if you would like to inverse the I to E ratio. Confirm the pop-up prompt by pressing the Accept button. Continue to use the selection dial to set the desired inverse I to E ratio and confirm the change with the Accept button. The seventh parameter window is ventilation mode. The Z-Vent has four primary ventilation modes, Assist Control, SIMV, CPAP, and Bi-Level. Press the parameter button once to change the desired ventilation mode and twice to change whether to operate in volume-targeted breathing mode or pressure-targeted breathing mode. In Assist Control mode, the patient receives either controlled or assisted breaths. When the patient triggers an assisted breath, they receive a breath based on either the volume or pressure target currently set. This is displayed as either ACV, indicating volume targeted breathing mode, or ACP, indicating pressure targeted breathing mode. In synchronized intermittent mandatory ventilation, or SIMV mode, the patient receives control breaths based on the currently set breathing rate. Spontaneous breaths are either demand flow or supported using pressure support. This is displayed as either SIMVV indicating volume targeted breathing mode or SIMVP indicating pressure targeted breathing mode. In continuous positive airway pressure or CPAP mode, the patient receives constant positive airway pressure while breathing spontaneously. Never use the CPAP mode on a patient who is not spontaneously breathing or who might stop spontaneously breathing. The CPAP mode is intended for ventilatory support, not ventilation. CPAP can be used with or without leak compensation. When leak compensation is enabled, press the parameter button three times to adjust the leak compensation setting. In bi-level or BL mode, the ventilator assists patients breathing spontaneously through two pressure settings, a higher inspired positive airway pressure, or IPAP, and lower expiratory positive airway pressure, or EPAP. We have now completely reviewed the parameter windows and how to change basic settings. Throughout the other modules, we will continue to explore the device's functionality and how to prepare the ventilator for use.